Welcome. All right, so what are inverse operations? Now, when we're going to be solving equations, the basic operations, especially linear equations, uh, the basic operations we're going to be dealing with are adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. And a lot of times we say them, or even when you first learn them, we learn them in their kind of way that they were you know, inverse. We first you know, learned adding, and then we learned the inverse of adding, which would be subtracting. Then we learned multiplication, and then we learned the inverse of multiplication, which would be dividing. Now, when we look at um, inverse, what exactly what we're trying to do is how, you know, what operation can get us back to our original element. And without getting kind of too complex, let's just go and take a look at uh, the number 5. Now, if I take the number 5 and I add 1, right? So 5 is our element, right? The 5 is our original element. So if I take an operation and I add 1 to it, I need to, what operation can I apply that's going to take me back to 5. So 5 plus 1 is obviously 6. So therefore, if I subtract 1, that's going to take me back to 5. Just like if I did 5, I'll use this symbol, times 6, and then divide by 6, a multiplication and division are inverses, where therefore it's going to take me back to 5. And we could swap these around. I could say 5 minus 1 plus 1 equals 5. 5 divided by 6 times 6 equals 5. So our inverse operations take us back to our element. And what's really important, especially when we get into you know, solving, is a lot of times we're going to want to be applying our inverse operations to a variable. Because the reason what we want to do is isolate that variable. So we want to apply the inverse operations. So for instance, if I have x you know, plus 7 equals um, 15, when I want to isolate this, I want to get it by itself. I want to get this to its element, right? I just want it by itself. I just want it to be 5. I don't want it to be 5 plus 1. So I need to undo what, what is happening to that 7. So since I'm adding 7, I'm going to subtract 7. And then going back to doing whatever I do on one side, I'm going to subtract 7 on the left side. Well, these, adding and subtracting, they take us back to our element, right? So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just a basic um, kind of understanding of what exactly are inverse operations. And these are the basic ones we're going to deal with. Multiplying and dividing our inverses of each other and adding and subtracting our inverses of each other, where when you apply one operation and then apply the next, you're going to take you back to your original element or isolate your element or your variable. Thanks.